I said I wanted a small body, but it had to be loud, mm -hmm. which is always a big challenge to any guitar maker. And I also wanted the neck to be able to play leads right, right. up to the top fret. So um, there's quite a lot of challenges, but it, as you can tell, it's beautiful loud. resonance. Yeah. And you can just brush it like this. So it's incredibly dynamic um, when you play. And, and, and uh, you know, for a short scale instrument, mm -hmm. it has just wonderful range and, and resonance. Yeah, it's got a very nice, it's easy to control, you know, tone with the, this part of your hand mm -hmm. and, and releasing and the way that you you know, the little vibrato or whatever, whereas a lot of guitars don't really respond so well. Mm -hmm. I started on a Woolworths guitar, you know, oh, like yeah. up in the northeast of England, and then something that sort of almost looked like a guitar. It was like a, it said it in the shot, it said jumbo guitar in the window. And when I got it, it was like, it was bigger than me. I was like looking over it like this. Uh, so I went through a series of awful guitars. And didn't really get my first good guitar until um, Chris Blackwell signed me when I was very young to Island Music to a publishing deal. And Elton John signed me to a record deal. And I went and bought four guitars in the same day down on uh, Denmark Street and Shaftesbury Avenue. And uh, I went mad, you know, so just went into every shop going, I'll have that one and that one. Who cares? <laughs> I created a band with Mick Jagger and um, Damien Marley, Joss Stone and A.R. Aman. <clears throat> a fusion of sort of blues and sort of reggae, dancehall and Indian music. <clears throat> it's pretty difficult to explain the sound of it really. I was in the Caribbean and I was, you know, in the Caribbean everybody plays sound systems mm -hmm. and it kind of bounces off the hills and often there's different music going on at the same time and it was just this one moment where the music sort of synced up even though they were playing completely different things and I had an idea of um, wow I wonder if we can make a fusion of all these different things so, so we're going to play something unnamed never played before and Amri give me a handkerchief so she can't see my hands <laughs> what we used to do in folk clubs in the northeast of England <laughs> is when you sat got up to play a song right like it meant that you'd got a record from somewhere from Memphis or and you'd learnt this song, but you didn't want other people to learn it because you wanted to be the one that knew it for four weeks so you could get the gig. So you always used to go like that and play like that. <laughs> we did. I love it. Ready? Yep. Uh, hang on then. <laughs> 